Today, we are taking a first look at the Pro 700. The Magpul Pro 700 chassis was a product that I was really excited to check out at Chat Show 2018. If you have not checked out our video, I'm gonna put a link right up here, and that'll take you to a card where you can check out that video where we spoke to Dwayne from Magpul, looked at the Pro 700, as well as their other new products that they announced in 2018. Now, the Pro 700 created a lot of buzz, got a lot of interest going about a really cool chassis for Remington 700 actions and clone actions, but, there was a lot of controversy about the price. And before we talk about that, let me thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me learning about this new product. My name is Dave Tim. I do appreciate you watching. And please check us out online at gunsandtactics.com and follow us on all of our social media outlets. If you like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share the video, get the word out. Back to the money. $1,000 MSRP is a lot of money. And a lot of people were super critical of this before they even laid their hands on it. They were comparing it to the Hunter, which, you know, the Hunter is a nice stock, but the reality is it is not just a souped up Hunter. It's a, a much nicer system. The Hunter is mostly polymer with a little bit of aluminum, whereas the Pro is mostly aluminum with a polymer shell. So what you get in the box, you get a fancier box inside the box, and then you get Thanks to the magic of editing, you get the Pro 700. Also, uh, it does come with one five round AI mag, which is great. So these are great mags, I like these a lot. And then what else is in the box is it does come with a grip and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. And I, uh, I think that's it, let me just double check. Stickers, catalogs. It's actually a really nice box. The graphics and everything look super nice. Enough of the box, you didn't come to see the box. You came to check out this bad boy right here. Like I was saying, this is mostly aluminum with a polymer shell, and that's where the price difference comes. Plus it has the folding mechanism, but let's start with the outside first. When people looked at it, they immediately thought this is all polymer. No, the M-Lock slots here, 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 this is all aluminum, this is all metal. And then we go back to the folding mechanism, it's metal there, and even in the grip, there's like a metal, like spine of the grip as well. And then it does have polymer on the outside. But when you're actually attaching M-Lock accessories, you're attaching it to aluminum. And it is really, really a solid feeling chassis in the hand just before I even have a rifle in it. So people always wanna know about the specs. You can go online and read about all the specs, but here's the gist of it. The aluminum is 6061T6. The polymer is Magpul's amazing polymer. 5.4 pounds for the weight, it does fold, and you can get a fixed version as well for a little bit cheaper, and this can be reversible. You can just flip this mechanism down if you wanted to fold it the other way. But what I like about it folding this way out of the box is that it protects the bolt knob there, which you'll see once we have it all together. Where I think the chassis really shines is the adjustability. You have one inch adjustable height. Now a lot of stocks out there you can adjust the height. A lot of stocks you can adjust the length. But what's really cool when you adjust the length, which you get about two inches of adjustment here, you can also change the cant, you can raise the butt pad up and down. Again, another point to make about the adjustment once you get the height, for example. Once you get your height set, you know, there is a little bit of play. You just tighten this little knob right here and that snugs it down and it's rock solid. So it, it feels really good and I can't wait to get this put together. Uh, as far as the bottom metal, it does come with the bottom metal, it has a nice little ledge there so you can use it for a stop. It has the extended mag release. It does take AICS mags. Magpul, of course, makes their own. Otherwise, it will take the metal mags. And it does feature a nice channel here for free floating your barrel. Now, I did test fit a couple of actions. It fits a Remington 700 just fine, and it fits what we're gonna be using today just fine, which is a, a clone. Uh, pretty much every custom action on the market uses similar external dimensions to the Remington 700, so they can take triggers and that kind of stuff, and then they can take stocks. Not all, but a lot. So I think it was smart for Magpul to address that. Now, the only thing that's not in the box that you will need if you're gonna buy this is a front QD socket. You can put it wherever you want with the M-Lock slots, but as far as moving back, opposite the bolt, you have a QD socket here, so that way when you have it folded, 
you could have a sling, you know, connecting it to that point. And then when you're shooting, you do have QD sockets in the back on both sides. You have M-lock on the bottom, so you could even add something there, whether it be a little monopod or a QD socket or whatever. Speaking of the folding mechanism real quick, it feels solid. You know, there's no play. It doesn't move at all. And again, it's reversible, so you can go whichever side. So what are we going to build? Well, let me uh, see what I got laying around. I just got this Seekins Havoc 308 done Cerakote and it turned out really awesome. I like the Seekins rifles uh, on paper. The features look really good. I'm excited to pull the trigger and see how they shoot, but I didn't like the stainless finish that I got with this one, and that's actually what came with that Hunter stock, but I didn't care for the Hunter stock, so this is really gonna tie together really nice. The other thing I didn't care for is the bolt knob, so I have a different bolt knob. So let's, uh, let's whip all this together. That's pretty sharp looking. Now, one thing to note with the Seekins Havoc action that I am using here, if I insert the mag, bolt will not close. And that's because the Seekins bolt, the lugs are used to feed the rounds versus Remington 700 where they're not. So the mags actually need to sit a little lower. Now, if you stumble across this video for whatever reason and you have the same issue with the same action, you'll know what you have to do. Now for me, luckily, because my Seekins came with the Hunter and they've actually already shortened the mag catch at Seekins on this stock, I'm just going to swap. It's the same catch between the two and that's just a single pin. So that's super easy to do. Just so you guys can see, there is the Magpul factory and then there's the Seekins Havoc modded one. And it looks like from the factory they just cut down just a little bit there to get that mag riding just a little bit lower. So hopefully you guys can, uh, can see that okay on camera. Just try to hold still. And just so you guys have the measurement, it looks like their notch is 0675. So if you have a Seekins Havoc, you might have to make that cut. So we're just gonna throw the Seekins Havoc modified one back in. Yeah, looks good. This thing looks nice. That folding mechanism protects the bolt knob very nice. You know, I have the extended bolt knob on there. I just think that the Seekins needed just a little bit of extension in that smoother knob and the uh, stock works really nice with that, protects it. Now, as far as how the chassis feels, this is a solid feeling gun. Uh, and, it, and it should be considering the price of the action, the barrel, and now the chassis. Now, if you like AR ergonomics, you have that familiar AR type grip if you want. If you want to ride a high thumb, there's a little ledge right here, which I really like for manipulating your safety, manipulating your bolt. Uh, otherwise, even if you want to have a floating thumb or a side thumb or whatever, you have the option to do that. Now, as I showed in the installation, there's actually a bolt right up here that allows you to move the grip back and forth. And that's a really cool really cool feature. There's not a lot of chassis that have that option. Most of the chassis out there just take an AR grip and it is where it is, but having the ability to move it is a nice little touch. Now, speaking of grips, most of the chassis out there will take an AR-15 type grip. This is actually a proprietary grip to it. It's similar to AR, and this one's more vertical. It kind of feels 
uh, similar to, you know, maybe like a K2, maybe a little bit more vertical. But what's cool is they also include this guy here, which has a more traditional grip, and it's a little bit larger of a palm swell. So if you have bigger hands or maybe just prefer, you know, to get your gun gripped a little different to get that trigger or whatever, it does come with this grip as well. And this just has one, two, three, four screws. It comes apart and it clamps onto that, you know, that bone, that aluminum bone that I was talking about earlier. So nice little touch there that you're getting. This is just my first look, not my full review. I'm gonna take this hopefully to a couple of matches in the PRS game, kind of new to that. I'm gonna be shooting it at the range, run some drills with some LE Precision guys, and I'm excited to get into the bolt gun game. So I'm really impressed with what Magpul brought to the table for their first pro grade chassis. For more information, you can check out their webpage. I'll post that down below. And it is available in three different colors and short and long action for Remington 700 action or aftermarket actions that follow the 700 external footprint. So really, really sweet setup so far. I'm digging this. If you guys found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow us online and on all of our social media outlets. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys very much for watching and have a great day.